Welcome to the Poor Mom YouTube channel. I am the host of the Poor Mom podcast, Tawana Edwards. And on this channel, we're going to be making some of my favorite mocktail and cocktail recipes, as well as have a little story time so you guys can get to know me better. On today's video, we're going to be making two cocktails. One is a blackberry spritzer and the other is what I like to call driven snow. The first drink that we're going to be making is the blackberry spritzer. For the blackberry spritzer, you're going to need champagne, gin, a simple syrup mix. This is blackberry syrup mix. And you're going to need blackberries and thyme for garnish. So the first step after you have your simple syrup is to take about an ounce of gin and put it into your glasses. So here are my glasses. And to be honest with you guys, if you do not have a scale, you can just kind of eye it if you have a shot glass. So about an ounce is almost a full amount of shot glass. So you're gonna to wanna to put that in each cup, one ounce each. If you do have a scale, you can go ahead and measure it. Make sure you um, weigh the glass first, then put the liquid in there so you know the difference for your one ounce. All right, so the next step is to take your simple syrup and put it inside the cup. And you may want to do about a couple of spoonfuls. Until you get it to a nice little red color. So for this I'm doing three. And then you just want to simply top the rest of it off with champagne. Now, it doesn't matter what champagne you use. It doesn't matter what brand of gin you use. Um, I just say use whatever you like, whatever is most affordable for you. I do not get paid to promote anybody's liquor, so we don't do that on this poor mom. YouTube channel all right and then you guys I'm gonna be honest with you I don't like how it's not red enough for me so I'm gonna go ahead and pour a little bit more of the syrup in there because I like it to be really pink all right and then you're gonna go ahead and garnish it off with a little thyme and some blackberries. So you can do it two ways. If you're serving this and you want to be fancy with it, you can go ahead and put it on a um, toothpick and just go ahead and garnish it on the top like so. Or if you're not so interested in being fancy with it or you want to do it a different way, that's fine as well. Take about two or three of the blackberries and go ahead and just drop them in there. And there you are, that is a blackberry spritzer. All right, I'm gonna try the one that's bubbling on top. It's so good. I'm telling you guys, it's so good, simple syrups makes the berries come out so well in any type of a drink and they go so well in all kind of cocktails and it's very easy to make and it stores for seven days and you can do it with you can put it in a lot of other things as well it just doesn't have to be alcohol related um but that is the blackberry 
and thyme spritzer. All right, so before we move on to the next cocktail, I wanted to talk to you guys about how Poor Mom actually got started. So I've been wanting to do a podcast for about three years since 2017 and I just couldn't find my niche. Part of the reason I couldn't find my niche was because I just felt like I needed people, I needed a co-host or someone. So I spent a lot of time seeking validation from other people, running my ideas by other people and it just kept on getting pushed on the back burner because I just wasn't confident enough to just do it. And when the pandemic set off, I was, I was at that moment where I'm like, you know what? I have the time, you know, I'm working from home and my time is freed up. I don't have a lot of excuses and I really want to do this. This is something that I've been considering doing and wanting to do for so long. And I just sat down with myself and I did some evaluation. What are the things that I love to do? One of the things is talk, talk shit with my friends and just have a good time. And the other thing that I'm most proud of is motherhood. Like I love being a mom. Even though it can be very hard at times, I love being a mom and I think I do a really good job of being a mom and I'm not a traditional mom. One of the things that makes me untraditional is I treat motherhood like my comedic stage and I gave my best performances and I find nothing but comedy and joy in motherhood. So I decided like, hey, I'll go gather some women and talk about things that we go through in womanhood and actually have a party. So poor mom is like your girlfriends. It's those girls that talk shit and drink. And Poor Mom is an interactive podcast, so there's always a drinking game that goes associated with it. And I know people are thinking, oh, you're promoting alcoholism around your children. No, I'm not, because it's up to you to be uh, able to moderate yourself. So it's just a fun way for me to let my hair down. I mean, we're all in this space where we're all together and a lot of us turn to wine and other things in order to cope and kind of deal with the stress of life. And so I thought, well, hey, this would be a great opportunity to come up with a podcast that kind of helps to continue that kind of a, a situation. So that is where Poor Mom started from. <laughs> all right, so we're about to move on to the next Cocktail is one of my favorites and I have a funny story that goes along with this drink. If you do not like eggnog, you guys can just not put the eggnog in there. It's perfectly fine. So for this next drink, Driven Snow, <laughs> you're gonna need a blender and you're also gonna need ice cream. I have eggnog ice cream because I just really enjoy eggnog. But if you're not a fan of eggnog, just don't put the eggnog in there and put vanilla ice cream instead. You can do French vanilla ice cream, vanilla bean, or just plain vanilla, whichever you prefer. You're gonna also need eggnog. If you can't find eggnog in the store anymore, eggnog is really just a simple mix of egg and milk <laughs> and a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg and you just mix it together and that's what actually makes eggnog. You can also just simply drop, drop an egg in there. Not something that I would necessarily do, but you know, to each their own. You're gonna need simple syrup. So this is just plain simple syrup. So once again, simple syrup is just water and sugar. One cup of water, one cup of sugar and it stores for about a week. You're gonna also need some dark rum. Okay, so black rum or dark rum, whichever you can find. I'm using Bacardi um, black, but you can definitely use whatever rum is affordable for you or whichever one you prefer. So you're gonna also need some cinnamon. Because I have eggnog, I don't need nutmeg. If you don't have eggnog, you might wanna get some nutmeg and put a little sprinkle of nutmeg in there just to add that extra flavor. And then you're gonna need cinnamon sticks for garnish as well as marshmallow. I suggest getting the jumbo kind or the big kind so that it just works better. And I'm gonna use a blowtorch. This is just a brand new toy for me. I'm super excited about it, but you guys do not definitely have to use it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? To use this. If you have a gas stove, you can toast your marshmallows over the gas stove. If you have one of those lighters for candles, which I know we all probably have, if you're a candle person like me, 
then you can also toast it with that it's really just for the look of it all it's not necessarily adding any flavor so the first thing you want to do is take about i'm all about that one ounce you guys can adjust the alcohol to your liking if you do not drink just remove the alcohol maybe gin is too much for you um with the first drink or rum is too much for you you guys can definitely substitute rum with brandy and cognac so cognac is like a hennessy um that will work as well but for this one i'm using some rum so you're gonna take sorry, let me get my stuff together so you're gonna take about an ounce which remember I said in a shot glass, it's about to your, the center of your pinky or that first line in your pinky. I don't really know what those things are called. If you guys know what those things are called, please comment down below because I would love to be able to call it correctly. And you're gonna go ahead and put it in your blender. So that's about an ounce of rum. This is making two drinks, you guys. So if you're making more, um, you might wanna add a little bit more liquor um, I'm only making two drinks, so I'm not going to actually put in that much. Then you want to put in about, this is new, so I got to get this together. If you don't have simple syrup, I'm going to be honest with you. You can also just add some sugar. It just adds a little bit of flavor. It's not necessarily that necessary because your ice cream is sweet too. But I just like to add just a little simple syrup. So you're going to add probably, probably about a tablespoon of simple syrup in there. Just enough just to make it a little extra sweet. All right, here's the thing with the ice cream. To each your own, okay? To each their own with the ice cream. Put in a little bit, put in a lot. It's really up to you how much ice cream you want to use. I'm probably going to use about this much, which in a normal spoon, I don't have an ice cream scoop. I know it's kind of ghetto, but I just don't have one. I might get one. But we scoop our ice cream with spoons and just go, I'm just joking. No, we don't. <laughs> yes, we do, but we don't just eat it like that. Uh, I'm going to put in two scoops of ice cream. Maybe. I am. I am. There we go. And, um, your cinnamon sticks are for garnish. You guys, use whatever you have. I have the Kroger brand, um, but maybe you guys don't have Kroger. Now, when it comes to eggnog, that is additional to each their own. So for me, so for me, I'm gonna put in about a cup of eggnog. I know my, my cup thing is really big, but I'm one of those people that less is, is more. So if I can get as much in, <laughs> like if I can have like one item taking up the cupboard space, then so be it okay so this is gone so i'm just gonna empty out the rest of it i'm just gonna be honest it's a little bit a little bit more than a cup i'm gonna go ahead and pour that bad boy in there and about two or three sprinkles of cinnamon if you don't like cinnamon, don't do it. All right, and then you're going to go ahead and mix it up. You guys, I buy stuff all the time, and I don't even know how to work it. Half the day on time. Yeah. Huh? My daughter had to help me. <laughs> um, because I buy stuff, and I don't know how to work it. Okay, so then you're just going to go ahead and blend it. Because blenders have the worst noise in the world, you're not going to hear this blend. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you guys how much ice to use. Just use about a cup of ice, like one cup of ice. Okay, so... So you're going to take your glasses. You're going to fill them up.
you want to make sure your ice is completely smooth like you don't have any chunks of ice in there and once again this makes about two drinks if you're making it for more people, just double it, triple it, whatever you have to do to cover your party, right? After you do that, you're gonna take some marshmallows. Two marshmallows, one in each one. Here is my fun with my blowtorch, you guys. So I'm gonna just blowtorch a little bit of the bottom of this just to get it a little hot, not too much, so that it kind of gives that melted look like a snowman is melting. Now the thing about it is, even if you're gonna do this with um, your stove, a candle, um, a candle lighter, or a blowtorch, just keep in mind, you guys that marshmallows are nothing but sugar <laughs> and sugar and fire of any kind is going to light so it's going to set it on fire so you're going to see it actually like a candle it's going to set on fire so you have to be very careful with uh how much you're actually doing that because like i said you see it's on fire <laughs> And it will burn so just be careful uh, with what you're doing if you're going to toast it it's not necessary to toast it if you'd rather you can put it in the microwave for a little while that works too then you take your cinnamon and if your sticks are long enough go ahead and drop them in there and that is how you can do it or you can sit it on top I always like to show you two ways to garnish your item so this is the first one. I don't know if you guys can see it. Don't worry, you guys will have a picture of it. And this is the second one and it's just garnished with that on top. And that you guys is my Driven Snow. So I wanna tell you guys what happened when I made this drink the first time. So I made this drink and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so good. You can't even tell that there's alcohol in there. It tastes just like eggnog. It was so amazing. And then the next thing I know, the next day, I could not find my wig. Like, <laughs> literally for three days, my wig was just missing. I could not find it. I was like, I text my friends and I'm like, you guys, I think you guys need to know this. I made this drink last night and I can't find my wig. And so they automatically assumed that I had been doing something, you know, strange. But I wasn't. I just literally, like, I went to sleep. And however it happens, I, I couldn't find my wig. I literally thought that my kids had sabotaged me and they didn't want me to be my cute self. And they kind of hid my wig. I don't know why. But I was, I couldn't understand, like, how does a wig get up and sprout legs? Needless to say, I found the wig because I'm wearing it today. <laughs> I'm just joking, but I did find my wig, but it took me three days. Like I was just that gone that I didn't remember. I wasn't that gone. Never say that. Let me take that back. I wasn't that gone. I was just, I don't know. The drink did something to me and I literally must've put, I put my wig somewhere I don't usually put it and three days. I mean, the kids couldn't, we were on a mad hunt for a wig. It was crazy. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to the Poor Mom YouTube channel. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe so you can be a part of my Betty gang. And make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you never miss a video from me, Tawana, the host of the Poor Mom Podcast. You guys, make sure you guys head over to the Poor Mom Podcast while you're at it. Go ahead and listen to this week's episode. It is always a lit time over there. And make sure you follow me on all social media. Link will be in the description below. Bye, y'all.